Ah, St. Patrick's Day. I remember as a kid celebrating by wearing green or threatening to pinch my friends who were not wearing green. For many of us, St. Patrick's Day is a day to wear green, get a shamrock shake from McDonald's, and celebrate. But have you ever stopped and asked yourself, who is this St. Patrick that we celebrate every March? Well, first off, St. Patrick wasn't Irish. He was actually British. But what I think is so amazing about St. Patrick was how he was able to follow Paul's words in 1 Corinthians 9, 19-23, where he says, I have become all things to all people. What do I mean by that? Okay, well, St. Patrick, when he was a young boy, he was kidnapped by a group of Irish raiders from Britain and spent the next handful of years in slavery. He eventually escaped and returned home, but during this time in slavery, he grew immensely in his faith. After returning home, he became a priest and he felt called to return to the place where he had been a slave and preach the good news of Jesus. So he did. He went to Ireland with the mission of ministering to the Christians in Ireland, while also trying to share the good news with the Irish men and women who didn't know Jesus. But he didn't do it by telling them they had to change everything they thought and were familiar with. Instead, he found ways to connect Christianity to what they already believed and valued. One of the most well-known stories about St. Patrick is the story of the shamrock. We all know what a shamrock is. We probably spent a ton of hours searching for the rare four-leaf clover when we were kids. But the story goes that St. Patrick took a shamrock, the three-leaf clover kind, and compared it to the Trinity. Three individual pieces, but one whole object. He took something the people knew and used it to explain God to them. Another story is that the people of Ireland whose worship centered around nature would use bonfires to worship their gods. And so when Easter collided with a pagan holiday, St. Patrick decided that he was going to build a bonfire to honor Jesus. There are legends that there was a high king who ruled and he said that no other fires could be lit except for the fire of his God. Yet St. Patrick defied the king's orders and built a bonfire on the neighboring hill that dwarfed the high king's bonfire. The story goes that St. Patrick was then captured and brought before the king, but before he could be executed, he preached the gospel to the king and the king was converted. Legends of St. Patrick grew and grew, and there are stories of him you know, driving snakes out of Ireland. There are stories of him raising men from the dead, people who had been dead for years. But what I find so encouraging and challenging is how St. Patrick recognized that connecting the things the people of Ireland already knew and valued to God, he could more easily share the gospel with them. When Paul tells us to become all things to all people, he isn't telling us to conform to the ways of the world. He's telling us to find ways to connect ourselves to others in a way that we can share the gospel with them. If we can follow the example of Paul and St. Patrick and find ways to become like the people we're trying to reach, maybe go to the places they're at, do some of the things that they do, it can make a huge impact. Paul's message is that in order to effectively communicate the gospel, we must understand the cultural context of the people we're trying to reach and adapt our message to connect with the values and beliefs of those people. This doesn't mean that we're compromising the message of the gospel, but rather we're finding ways to present it in a way that is relevant and meaningful to the people we're speaking to. So this St. Patrick's Day, as you put on your green shirt, as you get your shamrock shake from McDonald's, Maybe think about who are the people that God is calling you to reach and what are ways that you can build connections to them in order to be able to share the gospel with them. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was encouraging or challenging for you. Uh, If you did enjoy it, uh, I ask that you just drop a like down below. That really does make a huge difference. If you're not already subscribed, uh, please do subscribe so you can see more videos like this. We post uh, videos on fatherhood every Tuesday, videos on faith every Thursday, and then we also post Uh, our podcast every Friday. So we hope you'll stick around, join our little community, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.